We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Oakland A's and the New York Yankees. The A's aim to notch their seventh win in a row right after this. Max Scherzer, a Missouri-born right-hander, gets the job of starting pitcher here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Into the box now, Johnny Damon. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The center fielder, Johnny. First pitch of the at-bat. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. First pair, 7 0 7. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, d -Row. we've got a couple of teams playing some good baseball right now. Unfortunately, a winning streak for one of these teams is going to end today, but, boy, this is a great matchup here. Yeah, I'm excited to call this one. Lee. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. That the left field. Number 24. So now to the plate, Ricky Henderson. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. And this is what happens when a power hitter is at the plate. You don't want to give them anything in the zone, and sometimes that leads to those tough-to-handle wild pitches. There's a chance they just put him on first now to avoid him doing any real damage. A runner at second, nobody out. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Scherzer has compiled a fine major league career on the mound, both in terms of effectiveness and longevity. And those traits have earned him 180 wins to this point. The 1-1 home. 1-2 one now. Scherzer has racked up over 130 innings on the mound and through those innings he's posted a whip a little under 1.5 certainly something he'd like to improve on swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first out this is where a strikeout pitcher has such a big advantage. Runner on second and no outs is definitely a strikeout situation in order to keep that runner from getting to third with less than two outs. When you can do it, it changes the whole strategy of the inning. Even a ground ball to the right side makes this a lot more dangerous situation. At the plate, Jason Giambi. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Runner at second here with one man out. And that's in there for his strike one and one. From the belt, the pitch.
hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Here now the 2-2. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Fouled off. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Reggie Jackson. And as we give you a look at his splits, he's had the better of right-handers this season. No doubt about that. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive to left. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And not in time as the run scores. A nice way to start a new series, d -Roll. The only thing you want to do is try to score early. It's always nice to win the first game of a series. Yeah, they're coming out swinging right here, trying to set the tone and let everybody breathe a deep sigh of relief. Hopefully get this first game under our belt. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Back on another here as the runner scores from second. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in. Whack. Base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. Now in the box, Matt Chapman. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch on its way. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2-1. and one. From the belt, the pitch. Hit out towards second. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. The throw home. And he is safe at the plate, and the lead is now 3-0. You don't think being a starting pitcher in this league will test your resolve? He's already given up more runs in the first inning in this one than he did his entire last start. That's the kind of roller coaster ride that will make you a little crazy. But that's kind of how baseball works sometimes. To the plate now, Marcus Semi. Into center field, line drive base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Well, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy whipped that one. 
At the plate now, Austin Allen, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one, and this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Come on, Yankees! The 2-1 home. Liner towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. It's one and one to Tony Kemp. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. Yeah, Dan, we got Patrick Johnson behind the dish tonight. Fairly standard strike zone most of the time, but he's definitely a pitcher's umpire. I, I always felt like this. He's He will give a little bit on the corners, both inside and outside. I think he's a fair umpire, but I would rate him more as a pitcher's umpire than a hitter's umpire. Swing and a liner. And this is going to play at least two of those runners as it's down for extra bases. One run scores. Throw into third will not be in time. And it's a two-run double. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a six-run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. Ron Guidry comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Stepping in now, Johnny Damon, as he hits it weakly on the ground toward first. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Probably wanted more of that at bat with runners in scoring position, but at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. Next up for the A's, Ricky Henderson, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Henderson hits a little over the 270 mark. A ball and a strike. I got one ball, one strike. The 1-1 home sent on the ground out to second. And it's in time at first. And hallelujah, the side is retired. But not only do they take the lead, they also open it up a bit as seven men come across to score. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the A's seven and the Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jesus Lozardo, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you take a look at that ERA, and it's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do 
If he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. First pitch on its way. And Dan Vero, this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight. They've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Maddie, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Really good at bat here from the leadoff hitter as he'll force him to throw another one. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Fly ball out toward right field. Jackson is there, one away. Batting second, the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Heading out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Batting third. The designated hitter. Number four. In now, Lou Gehrig. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He comes in with 24 homers to his credit so far this year. One ball and one strike to their DH here tonight. Nope. Lays off the fastball low and it goes to two balls and a strike. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 25 for him on the year. And it's a 7-2 game now. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Aaron Judge. Batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. offering on its way and a fastball is in there for strike one easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside
Pitch taken, several inches below the zone, in fact. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Barehanded at his knees. He is out. And this is not an easy play where you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Next for New York, Mickey Mantle. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. One out. Ball, back inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. All even now, two and two. Now here's the pitch. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Into the second deck and gone. Solo shot here to left. 19th home run for him on the season as it's now a 7-3 game. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Sanchez is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Takes this the other way to right. Jackson is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. The A's lead this one seven to three. Standing in, Jason Giambi. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Giambi. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. The right fielder, number nine, Reggie Jackson. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Reggie Jackson. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Lined into right, a base hit. 
Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he's currently in fifth place in that department in the AL race. And now they've got him in a rundown. Tagged by Torres, and he's out at second base. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. As he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. One for one after a single this first time up. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Two, oh. two out, nobody on. 2-1 and one to the A's first baseman. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing! Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing there for the A's. They hang on to a 7-3 lead. So striding in, Eddie Matthews. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here's the first pitch to him. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Counts even at one and one to Matthews. One and one. Here's the one one. Down low, two balls and a strike. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Batting it. Not shortstop. Waver. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the belt, the pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. one ball, There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, the pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. Relay to Olsen, and they turn the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Riding in, Don Mattingly, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. 
is looked at off the plate for a ball. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Bases are empty here with two men out. 3 and 0 oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Yeah. Taking all the way, and it's 3 and 1 now. Three balls, one strike. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. The throw into second. Now back. Center field. So a struggle that time for him in center field. And as a result, wow. he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Mattingly at second with two down. Nope. And he misses again, 2-0. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Too high, and it's 3 and 0. Oh. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit and a 3 0 -oh count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A ball that's carrying. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone. A home run. Two-run shot that time for Mike Trout. 34 home runs now on the year, as it's now a one-run game, 7-6 to six now. Oh, and that was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. The As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. One and one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air out to center field. Damon will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. We've played two. It's now seven to five. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said forcing the opposing starter out of the game before the third inning and posting a bunch of runs right out of the gate was huge for them from a confidence standpoint and for their outlook moving forward in this game. The key now is keeping their foot on the gas pedal, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. Leading off for the athletic. Digging in to try it again. Matt Chapman looking Matt. to follow up the yeah. RBI single from his first at-bat. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Popped him up. Sanchez moving to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. One gone for the A's here in the third. 
And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. One out, nobody on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. The 2-1 home. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. At the plate, Austin Allen. As he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Pretty good slider out of him right there. That pitch is definitely a big reason why he's pitching so effectively right now. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. A's are gone in order. They lead it seven to five. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they've done a nice job of keeping their swings inside the strike zone and not chasing after pitches they can't do much with. The numbers say their chase rate in this game is under 25%. And with a bunch of runs on the board right now, that could be a big reason why. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the third now. In now is the Yankees' DH, Lou Gehrig. And he's looking to add on to his two RBI game from earlier. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 0. There's no way around it. This has been a rough start on the mound. So it'll be interesting to see how long that man is going to let him go. Maybe he settles in and can give you another inning or so, but I wouldn't bet on it at this point. Olsen backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first down. And with one away for him here in the inning, let's take a quick look at the standings. And you can see that these guys pretty much have the division in hand to this point in the season. One out here in the Yankees third inning. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First pitch coming, here it is. In on the hands of it with the fastball, it's 1 0. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Change up just off the black, and it's 2 and 1. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Yeah. 
well above the letters with the fastball that time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Mickey Mantle. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. He's set and the pitch. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. One-0 -oh count. Here it is. Just missing here, 2-0. Oh. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. Runner at first here, one man out. Three and one. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitter's counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Three and one pitch. He is swung on and missed. A full count now. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. First and second now. One man out. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Hammered the other way to deep right field. Going back is the right fielder. Gone! So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. And even 20 home runs for him now thus far as they grab an 8-7 lead in this seesaw game. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan, Dero, what do you make of all this? Matty V, Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. Yeah, you're watching this pitcher. He's just not executing on both sides. They're missing over the heart of the plate, not using the quadrants. In the hitters meeting, they focused on this stuff. They thought these guys could miss middle, and that's exactly what's happened. Lou Trevino is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Now batting, third baseman, 
Eddie. Into the box, Eddie Matthews. As he'll take a look at ball one. Three runs already home here. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. Got three, one. three balls, one strike. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Not too often you see in a bat go from three and zero to a strikeout. So that's a pretty good job on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free strike on the three zero take, but he still had to put it in the zone. So now to the plate, Torres. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Two out, nobody on. Left side. And that is through into left field, a base hit. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes. And that's exactly what happened right there. Don Mattingly will bat next. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Mattingly. Just 24 years of age. He's a 15-year Major League vet, so it's been quite the career for him. The 1-0 pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Now the 2 1. Two out with the man at first. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. The 2 2 one more time. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Ready with the 1 0. There's a cut fastball that time that runs in a bit too tight, and it's 2 0 now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. 
You cannot miss over the heart of the plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Grounded weakly to the left. And he is in there. You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. Into the box now, D.J. LeMayhew, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Bases are loaded here, two down. Ball one. And he lays off for ball one. Set and the 1-1. One, one. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, look at Simeon. He goes to first. Touche, sir. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Leading off the inning, Tony Kemp. And they'll need him to get something going here. Tony. Huh. Now the pitch. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Like that pitch there. Lefty on lefty matchup. Curveball away to a lefty. Smart pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. I know that has to be frustrating from a pitcher's standpoint. But nice execution, nice hustle. Bottom line, nice hustle. Pitcher still one good pitch away from getting a double play. You know, Dero, one of the things you want to do is make quality pitches as a pitcher, and there's not much you can do right there. You make a pretty good pitch, and the next thing you know, you have a leadoff single on an infield ground ball. Stepping in now, Johnny Damon. A hit and two tries for him so far. Set with the 0-1. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Trout on the run. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. Now back. Number 24. Stepping in, Ricky Henderson. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Here it comes, 2-0. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Now the 2-1 pitch. Ball three. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. 
The three and one pitch. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. The battle. The designated hitter. Jason. So stepping in, Jason Giambi, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Big swing by Giambi, but he didn't get it, and it's 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now Giambi swings and misses here as he couldn't time that one, and there's your second out. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Reggie Jackson. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Here's the 1-0. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3-1. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The set and the 3-1 pitch. And that misses for ball four. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news, a single probably drives in a couple of runs. So stepping in, Matt Olson, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with the chase with two strikes, and that will retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Jake Deepman, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. In now, Lou Gehrig. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. The designated hitter, number four. Now the pitch. And he lays off there, 1-0. Diekman has seen his role change with those one-batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. The 1-0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Diekman has thrown a little over 50 innings and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Lifted the other way to left center. Damon is in retreat as he pulls it in for the first out. And there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. From the stretch. Ball. High that time with the slider taken for a ball. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down one and one.
Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Mickey Mantle is on deck. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Eight runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. High and deep to left center field. Left fielder looking up to the track, to the wall. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. And even 30 home runs on the year as they've taken a two-run lead. Mickey Mantle as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the 1 0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, catcher, Gary Dunstan. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. Swing and a little blooper to center. Here comes the right fielder. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Man, he's seeing it like a beach ball right now. Even his soft contact is finding holes there. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. To the plate now, Eddie Matthews, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We're through four. It's now a 9-7 ball game. Striding in for Oakland, Tony Kemp. He doubled he earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Tony Kemp. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. and oh. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. The batter. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Johnny Damon is working on a one for three thus far.
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a slider that's inside, 1-0. and oh. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. Nobody out, runner on first. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. The two one. That's popped up. In comes Judge. He can't get there as it falls in. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside the half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ricky Henderson. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. First and second here with nobody out. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Now that. And this was set up perfectly for him to start the double play. He's in ideal position. And then I think he got a little bit ahead of himself. You know that old saying, be quick but don't hurry? Well, I think that was demonstrated right here. So a big spot here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And standing in will be the DH, Jason Giambi. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Pitcher on the mound has to find a way to minimize damage right here. Got to believe he's willing to trade two outs for a run. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Down the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Bases loaded here, nobody out. And this is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Classic slider down and away from a strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. In now, Reggie Jackson. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Two base hits, both singles to this point. The 0-1. Fastball well outside. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. The double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff.
Line toward the gap in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. And the run is in to score from third. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Digging in once again, Matt Olson. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Ball low as he's able to lay off the slider. Two men are on with two men out. Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Hayes have to settle for just the one. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Yankees lead this one 9-8. Mariano Rivera comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 42. Late Matt Olson. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back-to-back -back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Fouled off. And another foul ball. Again, a 1-2. Ball two. You know, these kind of at-bats can drive you crazy when you're on the mound. I mean, he's been ahead of him pretty much the whole time, but he just can't put him away. Not only that, but it's costing him a lot of bullets. Two two he is swung on and missed. He got him. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth. As we take a look at league saves leaders entering play, and as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Now at the plate, Matt Chapman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the stretch. Yep, I blow it out. Rivera was born in Panama. He's in the midst of his 20th major league campaign. Pretty remarkable. Almost two full decades playing at the highest level. Here comes the 1-0. 
Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees. One and one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. There's a foul ball off to the right side and that'll move the count to one and two. Pitch on the way. Next up, two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. in the air down the right field line but this is going to wind up a foul ball the next three two fouled away bases are empty one man out Line drive to left. Judge is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught. And he would have represented the tying run. A's down to their final out now. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. delivery to him on the way bases are empty here with two men out good pitch as this is swung on and missed and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening Hey, down in the count 0 2, I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here. Maybe work it up the middle or opposite field with two strikes. Last strike now for Oakland. A shortstop behind with a 1 and 2 count. Proud of over 39,000 on their feet. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Spoils another one and will do it again. The 2 2 one more time. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. another full count offering on its way and he gets strike three called to end it here and with that this one is over four wins in a row for these guys and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves we'll see how long they can keep this up the close one nine to eight at the end of the game in this one the New York Yankees blasted five home runs in route to victory Ron Guidry gets the win in relief his sixth of the season 
Jesus Lozardo is slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. Mariano Rivera earns the save out of the bullpen his 34th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight.